Pandemic Legacy is a one-of-a-kind experience in board games and for many of us it's been the introduction to Legacy games. Today I'm sharing with you 15 games you might enjoy if you liked Pandemic Legacy. We'll be looking at Legacy games of course, cooperative games and generally speaking games with medium to heavy complexity, but there are exceptions in the list. Let's get started! I'll get the obvious one out of the way immediately. If you liked Pandemic Legacy, it's very likely you'll enjoy the other games in the series. Season 2 is a direct sequel to the events of the first game. Season 0 acts more like a prequel, but it's an excellent game as well. A bit lighter than Pandemic, The Crew is a cooperative trick-taking game of cards with a scenario spanning multiple missions. The Crew, Mission Deep Sea, is often said to be better than the original, and for more lightweight cooperative games, have a look at Just One or Codenames Duet. Near and Far is not a cooperative game, but it is a game with a strong narrative aspect that you might like if the story is what kept you coming back for more Pandemic Legacy. In the same series, Above and Below is of course a great choice as well, and Charterstone is a strong entry too for competitive Legacy. The Search for Planet X is a game of deduction where you compete as astronomers trying to locate a newly discovered planet. It is neither a cooperative game nor a legacy game, but it does have solo rules. For more science fiction, and still not a cooperative or legacy game, try Dune Imperium. Mysterium is a very original cooperative game of Clue. One player is a ghost sending dreams to the other players, who have to figure out the killer and the murder weapon together. It is much lighter than Pandemic Legacy, of course, but is a great cooperative game for all levels of players. You might also like Obscurio. Now we're going for some really heavyweight legacy game here. Gloomhaven is a cooperative dungeon crawler. It works well for Pandemic Legacy fans because its combat mechanics are close to a puzzle of card hand management. If Gloomhaven is too big for you, Jaws of the Lion is probably a better choice to introduce you to the world of Gloomhaven. You might also like Frosthaven and Nemesis. If what you liked about the Pandemic Legacy game was the Pandemic gameplay itself, I'm probably stating the obvious, but there are lots of variations of the game you can choose from. Cooperative but not Legacy, Pandemic Iberia is a fan favorite, and is set in the 19th century in Spain. There are lots of other great entries using this game system, here are a few that are really good. Fall of Rom, Rising Tide, and Pandemic the Cure. The King's Dilemma is not a cooperative game, but it is a legacy game of storytelling and political intrigue. You do have to solve problems together as the King's Council, but everyone is always trying to influence others to pick the choice that benefits their house the most. For more bluffing, you might also like Treasure Island and Captain Sonar. Forgotten Waters is a charming cooperative game of worker placement and adventure set in a world quite similar to Pirates of the Caribbean. Each character has a background story and personal objectives they're trying to achieve, which add fun to the concept. For more co-op game with a nautical theme, try Sleeping Gods and Atlantis Rising. Dead of Winter is another semi-cooperative game with a zombie theme. You have to survive together, but everybody also has secret objectives that might go against the common good. You might also like Dead of Winter The Long Night and Sheriff of Nottingham. Spirit Island is a cooperative game in which you have to protect your island against invaders. It is not a legacy game, but the area control aspect and variable player powers will scratch the same itch as Pandemic or Pandemic Legacy. Time Stories is a bit of an underrated game because of the repetitiveness of some of its gameplay. It is a game with a time travel mechanic after all. The best is of course to try the first scenario and see if you like it or not before buying the expansions. You might also like games from the Exit series. Clank Legacy is a deck-building legacy game where you play as treasure hunters. It is not a cooperative game. You might also like Clank in Space and Clank from the same series. Mechs vs Minions is a cooperative game with a campaign where you have to pilot mechs to fight uh, minions. It's a lot of fun to try and prepare for the next turn, but see all your plans going sideways because of the overwhelming number of minions or some event you didn't plan for. My number one recommendation if you liked Pandemic Legacy is the Chronicles of Crime series. It is a cooperative game of detective where you have to find details about a murder or other kind of mystery. It is very different from Pandemic Legacy of course, but as far as cooperative games go, it is a guaranteed hit. There are lots of other games in the detective genre that you might like. Like, such as Sherlock Holmes, Detective City of Angels, or Batman, Everybody Lies. And this is it for my list of recommended games if you liked Pandemic Legacy. Did I miss anything? Did some recommendation just not make sense? Let me know in the comments and see you next time!